Hi everybody, hope you're well. Welcome to another cool down video. Can't stress enough the importance of performing a cool down. So, following a workout, especially something like an aerobic interval workout, the object is to gently bring the intensity down slowly. Usually in class we start by walking around the room, so we can achieve this in a small space by marching on the spot. So let's get started with the posture check, keeping the feet moving at all times at the moment, and using the chair for balance, using the arms as well, and maybe a slightly lower march, keeping the feet about hip width apart. Don't forget to keep the breathing regular, helps to bring the heart rate down as well. So the initial aim is to keep moving, but gradually bring the RPE down slowly. So the effort level or RPE when finishing the workout is around 11 to 14 or in other terms from moderate to slightly tough or slightly hard. So definitely don't be in a rush to bring that heart rate down suddenly. Simple way will be to maybe drop the arms and perform some shoulder shrugs. Lower the march but keep the feet moving. Breathe nice and big and deeply. Bring yourself down slowly. Give yourself plenty of time to bring your RPE or your effort level down towards 11, around slight to moderate. Bring the breathing down. Give yourself plenty of time to do this, a couple of minutes at least. Gradually bringing that march down, lowering the arms, standing nice and tall. Think about the posture, breathing throughout. Definitely don't forget the use of the chair for a balance aid if you feel that you need it to support your balance, one or both hands. Excellent. So I'm going to prepare for the first of our cool down stretches, trying to keep the feet moving. So gradually prepare yourself for a careful pause or a stop. Our first stretch is a calf stretch using the chair for balance. One foot goes back, gently pushing the heel into the floor feel a stretch on the rear portion of the lower leg. So make sure you're keeping the breathing nice and regular, helps the stretch, a gentle stretch through the rear of that lower leg. So these stretches are held much longer than our warm-up stretches, try and maintain that stretch while breathing regular. In between stretches, Aim to try and keep the feet moving, maybe a gentle march, excellent. The aim of this, as most of us know I'm sure, is to keep the circulation going, avoid that pooling of blood in the lower body, and avoid that lightheadedness or postural hypertension. Okay, into the same stretch on the opposite side, carefully into the stretch, breathe and stretch. So the chair is quite a useful stretching aid here, especially if we lose balance or experience dizziness at any point. So take your time on these stretches, the aim is to maintain your flexibility or possibly improve your flexibility in areas where you feel you need to. So gradually come out of the stretch and again move the feet. Just an easy march now, well done. So take a posture check, maybe some shoulder shrugs, breathe nice and deep. So from here we're going to take it to a low march and we're going to change to heel dig. So digging the heel and perhaps curling the arms, again dropping the intensity. And at this stage you may want to think about leaving the arms down and relaxed and just using the lower body to enable that drop of intensity a little bit more, gradually decreasing the workload. And from here we're going to do another stretch, going to use a chair. This stretch can be done standing, but I'd like to use a chair for demonstration purposes. So a quick posture check in the chair and hip walk forward to the front third of the chair to get into the stretching position. So bringing one foot in towards the chair and extending the other leg, the stretching leg out, with a slight bend in the knee. 
So with both hands on the opposite side to the leg that's been stretched. Trying to tip forward, keeping the straight back, keeping the head up to feel a gentle stretch on the rear of that outstretched leg. So keep the breathing going as usual. And when we finish the stretch, you going to keep the feet moving. So sitting tall in the chair, slightly moving the feet. Excellent. Same procedure on the opposite leg. So we want to feel a stretch the same down the back of the thigh, but in the opposite side. So a gentle stretch in the rear of the thigh, breathe regular and try to achieve good posture, tipping forward from the hip, try not to round the shoulders at all. Excellent, finishing the stretch, sitting back in the chair, checking the posture, moving the feet, getting the circulation going again. The next stage of the cool down could be continued in a seated position. Uh, this is an option, but I'm going to stand up carefully and return back to a standing position, possibly using the chair for a balance aid. Excellent. So keeping the feet moving, we're going to carefully come to a stop, open the feet, side bend. So carefully bend into the side, making sure you're keeping side on, not tipping forward or back from the hip. Nice controlled breathing within your range of movement. Six to eight repetitions. And the last one, we're gonna hold for a short stretch down the sides of the body. Once you've completed this stretch, again, moving the feet in between, keeping that circulation, stopping the blood pooling. Good job. From there, open the feet again. And we're going to continue the movement to the opposite side. Repeating side bends. Breathe with each movement. Same procedure. Really must emphasize not to hold the breath, keep the breathing nice and regular on these pauses. When you're feeling that stretch, regular breathing, really important. Finishing that side stretch and back into moving the feet again. Here I'm demonstrating the chair as a balance aid, but again, it's an option. Well done. Low intensity now, RPE is dropping. So approaching the last few minutes of the cool down now. So you'll notice changing to toe taps or toe points. And for the next stretch, you're going to use the chair for balance. So this is a front thigh stretch. Keeping the standing leg soft at the knee joint, bringing the heel carefully towards the rear. Achieving a stretch in the front portion of the thigh. Stand tall and breathe. So the use of the chair or balance aid is recommended here to achieve a, an effective stretch. Without using a chair, you're likely to struggle with your balance slightly and not achieve a correct stretch. Excellent, good work. We're going to change sides. You will see an adaptation here, moving the feet in between, of course. If you have difficulty grasping the foot or the ankle, you can possibly grab the clothing or similar, bringing the knee forward and then gently pulling the knee to the opposite knee to achieve the same stretch. Stand tall and breathe. Note the knee alignment from this position. You can see the knees are in line rather than having one knee forward of the other. Keep the breathing going, excellent. Okay, good work. Let's try a couple of upper body stretches, upper back stretch. So I'm keeping the shoulders relaxed, try not to round the shoulders too much. 
fine to stretch the muscles of the top of the upper back while keeping the feet moving of course and the opposite stretch gently place both hands on the top of the lower back to stretch the muscles across the front of the chest and breathe really important postural stretch this one stretching the muscles across the front of the upper body especially if um, someone's had surgery in the past these muscles may be tight and restricted so carefully to a pause open the feet for balance shoulders relaxed arms folded carefully twisting to one side keeping the head and neck in line with the spine so not excessively turning the neck with control carefully hold the position maintain a regular breathing pattern and back to centre and the same procedure in the other way just moving the feet in between so torso twist to the opposite direction in the same manner must emphasize control with this We're twisting through the mid and lower spine so definitely control the movement don't excessively turn or twist beyond your range of movement excellent nearly finished now moving the feet and some extra stretches to finish so the end of the cool down now just some final stretches which I'd like to do in the chair some extra stretches again keeping the feet moving throughout quick posture check sit nice and tall so the left arm reaches carefully over the right shoulder place the right arm around the upper body upper back stretch and now repeat the stretch in the opposite manner right arm goes over the top of left shoulder and the left arm reaches around the upper back stretch and breathe so another stretch for the lower body next hip walk forward slightly carefully open the feet the aim of this stretch is to stretch inside the thighs the back of the legs and the lower back so gently tip forward from the hip keeping the straight back keeping the head up carefully into your range of movement and breathe and feel the stretch slowly bring the head up as usual to seated position move the feet again so for the last stretch I'm just going to move the chair to a position where it's easier to view but you can stay in the same position again hip walk to the front third of the chair and gently reach back with the arms being careful not to curve the lower back try and stretch the upper part of the chest and shoulders sit nice and tall and breathe regular really enjoy this stretch nearly finished one more stretch some additional stretches that we don't have time for in class but we have the luxury of time at the moment so upper back stretch one arm goes across and the other hand above or below the elbow feel a stretch around the back of the shoulder and the top of the upper back repeat on the opposite side remember easy into the stretch right arm goes across above or below the elbow with the opposite hand feel that stretch so cool down 
almost finished just a final thing to do as we do as usual in class come to a careful stop check your heart rate so it's an approximate guide your heart rate or pulse rate should be within around 10 beats of your resting heart rate if you're finding your heart rate is taking longer to come down it's a good idea to decrease the intensity of your main workout excellent have a good day see you soon